power man Packed up my tools for my raw power man Glock 19 for casket and flower man Packed up my tools for my raw power man Glock 19 for casket and flower man Packed up my tools what is up everybody? My name is Alec McAllister. I'm here in Italy with clubs Cita di Anani Calcio, Serie D club here, just about an hour outside of Rome. And this is a day in the life uh, here in Italy. Um, I graduated high school this past year, so I'm here for a gap year. It's actually kind of funny because this video I created about a month or two ago, so it's kind of funny to see how things have progressed since then. But without further ado, I'll get right into the video and I'll catch you in a minute. Nicolas, our friend, is taking us to uh, get our haircut done. Um, and then the meester, or the coach, what we call our coach here in Italy, is picking us up to take us to the balestra, the gym, at about 8.30. Um, so I'll show you all of that. So I finished breakfast, um, but I'm also going to show you what goes into my protein shake, because I'm going to go ahead and make that for after the gym. Okay. One full banana, half a cup of almond milk, just a little more of a little bit. I'll throw in two scoops of protein powder. One, two, and actually I'll throw in a little more. And finally, put some more oats in. Solid complex carbohydrates. Fridge is looking a little bare right now. It's all right. We'll get covered. Yo, yo, this is, this is Jan, my roommate, spelled like Ian, but Jan, he's about to make himself a shake too. You want to introduce yourself? Tell, tell your life story, everything? My life story? Yeah. Um, yeah, I was born in Peru. I uh, came to Canada at the age of three years old. And, um, and yeah, before I started playing soccer, and then I got scouted in the in the trial in Montreal, Canada, and that's I got scouted to come here to Italy, and then the next is history. And how old are you? I will be 18 years old. Man, but he's making himself a little shake, a little shake right now. What are you throwing in there? Oats, banana. Oats, bananas, uh, peanut butter, and milk. Pretty similar to what I made. So we're about to head out, get these fresh cuts, catch up with you. So 
like it's time to head out, get this fresh cut. So I'll take you along. Mateo! Ciao Matteo! Pezzo di merda, non cosa saluto! Cosa fai? Con la scuola! Matteo just told us that Nicolas is still asleep. He's supposed to show us where the haircut place is. Matteo, you have scuola? Si! Ah! Yo, we got the dogs out here. Matteo, and what's your name again? Federico. Federico. Oh, we're waiting for Nicolas. I'll show you a little bit of the town since he's uh, just woke up and is coming to meet us. This is the supermarket where I get a lot of my groceries. This is the beautiful town. This is the hangout spot where everybody plays foosball. And there's just a good picture of what the whole town kind of looks like. Two. Three people before us because Nicolas slept into it. So that was a failed haircut attempt, but Nicolas got us an appointment for later. They're going to get a croissant at uh, Bar Rossi, and I'm headed back to get my stuff together for the gym. Just finished up hanging up all of our white stuff uh, so it'll be dry for training tomorrow take a look at that beautiful view all set buongiorno kevin <laughs> what's up bro yo it's my haitian canadian dude yeah, right what's here up, what's up what's up say yon spoke earlier and he said like his age his story so just say like where you're from and position and everything. I'm from Canada and I'm Haitian. But you're truly Haitian. Yeah, yeah. I want to play for the national team of Haiti. So I'm a real girl so I'm Yeah, he's 22 and he's ready to grind. Alright, we're heading to the gym. Buongiorno, mister. Buongiorno. Scusami. Che cosa?
Sounds like there's aqua gym going on right now, uh, but I'll still show you what I can. <laughs> This right here is where we do the contrast bath. It's hot on one side, cold on the other. Here's one of the saunas that I usually use. And then here's the real hot sauna. So I'll usually alternate between these two for a while. Yeah, but now I'm going to put my phone up, enjoy the contrast bath for a while, some recovery, um, and then use the saunas for a while, uh, alternate between the, the two. So, see you in a little bit. Clock out. We all fiend for the Wi-Fi here because we have no Wi-Fi back at our apartment. So we all download stuff. So you know what I'm about to do. Dillo pure a Nicolas. Perfetto, perfetto. A stasera. Ciao. Grazie, mister. Dillo a Stefania, se mi va a mangiare più tardi, ci sono le nove. Ok, ok. Ciao. A posto. Ciao, dopo. Ciao, grazie. So, back at the apartment now, I'm about to introduce you to the one and only Stefania. She comes and cooks for us. Stefania, hey. dire a ciao a YouTube. No. No? Perché no? Brutta. Ah, no. No, 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 no. Mmm, squisito. No, 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 no. Poi, un'altra volta. Dire ciao a YouTube. For lunch, Stefania whipped us up some, some nice pasta. Mine's gluten free because I'm on the low FODMAP diet, but we also got prosciutto. Apparently, these are fish sticks, so we'll see how that goes. We got juice for my guys and water for myself. So that's our, our lunch meal. Just finishing up lunch, also had a lactose free yogurt, strawberry. But this man right here is trying to say. That Pele and Maradona and Ronaldinho and, and, and Zidane, wait, who'd you name? Iniesta. He named like 20 players that are all better than Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. He doesn't even think he's top five. No, 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 no. So not just. What more do you have to say for yourself? Cristiano Ronaldo is not in your top five players of all time. I don't know. No man. Ronaldo and Messi, the two greatest of all time. Who was Cristiano Ronaldo? Hmm? <laughs> what do you mean who? I can say it in order. For me, Messi and Cristiano are the best. But I can say one is better than the other. <laughs> Just finished uploading footage from my phone onto my computer um, so that I can put it all together later. Uh, usually, today we don't have training. Um, but usually if we would have training, then I would take a quick 15 to 20 minute nap felt now and then afterwards do some visualization and some like muscle activation stuff before training. Today we do not have training. Uh, we have, we're playing in Mr. our coach's little futsal match later that he does with some senior guys uh, and I'm going to get, try again to get my hair cut in a little bit. but. The visualization stuff, it has really, really helped uh, my game and has helped me perform better and improve faster. If you guys are looking for uh, visual information on that, um, a program on that, and also just other football slash soccer psychology um, programs and information in general, um, I'm working on all of that and I should maybe have it out by the time this video comes out or if you're watching this video at this time. So that will be in the description if it is finished by the time you're watching this. So I'll catch up with you in a little bit. This is attempt number two, I'm trying to get a haircut. Let's get it. Going to get the haircut now. Going for something wild, never really got it. Basically telling Nicolas to tell the, the barber to do whatever he wants to do, whether he wants to put a line shave off whatever whatever he's thinking so I'm gonna get a true footballers haircut since you know I'm in a 
foreign country, I have the freedom to do these things. I ended up going somewhere else because there were so many people again at the place Nicholas wanted to take us to. But I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. I never got a cut like this. And now Nicholas is laughing at me. But he know hey, bello, no? Yo see uh The place was called San Paolo. Uh, it's a little uh, like five aside field here in Anani. And uh, after I stopped filming after I did like my touch warm up because there were a bunch of kids like kicking on the other side. I didn't want anything to happen to the camera. Um, but Nicolas and I did some some quick uh, some passing and finishing, uh, quick one twos off each other, and then Kevin and I did some more like two touch longer juggling, uh, keeping the ball in the air, then just, again, some more passing, finishing, just more touches, working on different kinds of passes and stuff. So it was good. They, uh, they're actually playing a little match with the little kids there right now, but I'm gonna, I don't, I don't really wanna uh, get in the way of the little kids there. What's up? And yeah, I'm also heading back to eat and stuff. All right, I just got back to the apartment. Uh, I'm gonna have one of these, it's an Italian based thing for footballers, just some quick carbs to get in me. And then I'm gonna make something light for before the little futsal match. I'm also gonna have one of these hydration packets. So I'll be having this to sip on um, from now throughout the futsal match, probably maybe into after. All right, so my pre futsal match meal is just two rice cakes with about like five uh, slices of turkey and some greens to add a little color to my palate and get some some greens in because I haven't had many greens today and then about an hour before I'll probably have a kiwi I love having a kiwi before I play about an hour before um, it just feels good in terms of give, giving me energy but not making me feel heavy so check in with you guys later it's not a big, big city so right. we'll take that much uh, you have to do it, you have to do that in the chip count. 
Alright, so that was one of the guys who hooked me up with this opportunity here um, at Cita di Anani uh, in Italy. Uh, I've known him since last year when I came over to Italy and did a showcase um, and was kind of like invited back and kept talking about how I was interested in coming here for a gap year. And I was just talking to him about the registration process um, because getting uh, international registration to play in the season matches here in Italy is very difficult and there's a lot of hoops to go through for all of that to work out. So I was just talking to him about what I can be doing, um, what the secretaries are going to do to help me to get things rolling. I have to have a lot of different, a lot of different things in order to get that, um, in order to get that through. But I'm, I really want to start playing the season matches. I, I've played in some, some reserve friendlies, U19 friendlies, and be playing against the first team and friendlies and stuff. But nothing beats playing in the season matches. I've been to two of them already, supported. I can't even be on the bench because I'm not registered. Um, but soon, soon, uh, it was a promising conversation, getting things rolling. So very thankful for all this help. All right, I've just been laying here, uh, reading my Kindle, chilling out, uh, putting my legs up. But now I'm going to make another little um, post post-match recovery slash like protein shake thing um, for me to have after the little futsal match tonight. And yeah, that's just to make sure that we, ha I'm pretty sure we have a, a match with a, another Nani team on Thursday. So I want to make sure my, my body's recovering well. I'm feeling a little, a little tight today with all the, with the gym in the morning, training, all that stuff. So just want to make sure I get some quick protein and carbs in me after the match, keep recovering quickly. Some fast, clean food in me. Alright, we're waiting to get picked up right now for the futsal match. Usually, we have Nicolas or Kevin or somebody to video some of it. So I thought I was going to get some clips, but I think Kevin's staying back. He's feeling kind of tight, tired, so he's not coming. And Nicolas isn't coming to support tonight, so we don't have him in the video either. So, um, I, we are having a little scrimmage friendly match against one of the other Anani teams, I think on Thursday. So, if I get some clips from that, I will put that at the end of the video. Um, and those will be my clips of me actually playing for, for this video. Um, but I'll, I'll catch up with you. I'll try to get some, at least some clips of my muscle activation, injury prevention stuff. That I want to do with the kids. I want to do some band work because um, I found out that since we have that friendly match, I'm, I'm probably not going to do heavy legs tomorrow at the gym. Also, doing my muscle activation stuff about 30 minutes before this futsal match. We have more time out here than I thought we would before the match. So I also just got some more ball control work in because I'm doing like a weekly challenge where I'm doing ball control work every day for that week to see how uh, how much it can improve and affect my game within just a week. See if I want to implement it as like a daily thing. I'm also for this month 
doing a challenge like I always do each month. Not challenge, but I just I work on three things, put my three cues in training and focus on them. And one of them striking. So after every individual session, doing ten strikes with uh, both of my feet, and then also trying to use as much as I can in our team trainings. So along with that, doing this weekly challenge with the with the ball control. But yeah, uh, it sucks I won't be able to get footage out here, but should be fun to just play around in this futsal match. All right, we just got back from the futsal match. It, it was pretty fun. Um, we ended up winning, I don't know how much it was, my team at least, like 11 to five or something. It was a landslide at the end, but uh, it was fun to play with the guys. I just ended up playing a lot of possession with them. Uh, hung at the back a lot, but scored a few goals as well. It was it was pretty chill. It was fun. Um, I didn't get any clips of it, but Kevin will definitely remember the last time we played him in the futsal matches. Appena torni, quindi non so fare. E ancora sto qua. Dai, riportalo tu, dai, fammi stare vicino. Oh, Kevin! Bravo! Eh. Col, col, col. Bravo! Dormi da te? Volevi che veniva a dormire da te? Eh, grande! Uh. Bravo! Alec! Um, wasn't, wasn't pretty at moments, but... Uh, yeah, so back here now, I had the protein shake after um, the futsal match, and I'm now about to sit down and have dinner here, so I'll show you dinner. Usually I like to watch these matches with Kevin, but he's already in bed, uh, watching the Barcelona game. Uh, don't support Barca, support Real, but obviously respect the players, can learn from them. Sadly, they just scored a goal, uh, but for dinner, I'm having a big plate of rice with like peas and uh, little pieces of ham or prosciutto in it and then I'm having a big piece of beef so that's dinner all right it's about 9 30 here at Italy. Um, just finished up dinner watched some of the Barca game Arthur Artur had a banger of a shot but I'm about to take a cold bath, almost like an ice bath, because the water can get so cold here. Um, and then I'm going to take a shower and honestly read and head to bed because we have gym again in the morning. So I'm pretty tired. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I put together of uh, my day here in Italy. If you guys did like it, let me know. There may be more of us to come. And if I do get footage from the friendly on Thursday, I will show that now. No, che mi riporto. No, uno. La regola da... Ma io pure per loro.
Kevin. 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 Niente Kevin, non voglio meno accogli Kevin. Questo è bravo. mention one last thing uh, my the guy I was on the phone with earlier the guy who helped get me here one of the people who helped get me here in the first place in the army um, when I was on the phone with him we were talking about options for registration and he actually he texted me afterwards one of the secretaries of the club was actually taking me in the morning after the gym to go to get my residency papers which is a, it's a great step in the right direction there's a lot of hoops to go through in terms of the process for registration it's a great step in the right direction very good news and hopefully i'll be playing in season matches soon see you later thanks for watching